Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we are back on House Flipper in our weird neighbourhood where no one ever walks past. No one comes to collect the bins. The bins just stay there the whole time. No one ever comes to get them. No one ever comes to get the mail or deliver anything. We might just have to say if we can like order a delivery or an Uber or something and see if something actually comes to the gate to let us out. Please save us. Oh, what's this? Ooh. This is being. This is, this is what, was this here before? I don't think this was something we could touch before. This is as well. This is all very close to the, this is all obviously part of the gardening DLC that's coming. And there's a patch that's just dropped today, actually. Um, I'm probably playing this probably releasing this video quite a while after this is actually um, this patch has actually dropped but um, uh, but yeah the patch was basically from what I could see was pretty simple it was just to um, allow you to have multiple saves basically to have multiple profiles which is quite cool so you can like play around on a building on one save and then uh, go back and really load like, your proper save. It's quite kind of cool. Gives you an opportunity to sort of experiment and play around without doing anything to your to your main your main save. But yeah, I don't remember being able to touch these before. Or have them highlight like this. I don't really want to sell one just in case. It actually, is there anything else back here that I can? Oh, I'll do it. Just I'll do it for science. Let's see if we can, no, so we can't sell them anyway. But obviously it's very close. Looks like it's very close. So just back inside the office. Um, oh, the other thing that happened I noticed on the patch was that, um, and you'll all probably have noticed this now, by now if you're someone that's playing House Flipper, but um, all the custom pictures were blank. Um, so when I came back in, this was just a white canvas. Um, which is a little bit annoying. I could sell it and I have to rebuy it again, but um, yeah. So that one was gone. I um, actually placed these, I changed those pictures out for some custom ones. Um, just some, I don't know why I like those pictures. I've just noticed that that one's exactly the same as the other one. Can't have that. Um, so it's that one. 36. I think that might be slightly different size, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Um, and then I've got a, p a picture of a pin board as well up here. So I'm, I think this is my personal office um, rather than it being somewhere that people come to visit. So it's going to, these offices are always going to be, so I'm the, I'm the property mogul here. I'm the, um, this is my private office. Um, so it's always going to be quite, personalized i think for me um i've got a few things that i'll probably as we as we kind of go forward and make bigger offices that i'll uh i'll put down that are more sort of personalized things but i am very excited because behind the scenes you might notice up in the top right corner there i just pointed at the screen which is random you can't see me i can't see you but i pointed at the screen um up in the top right corner you can see my balance has shot up to £73,483. I have no idea what it was the last time you watched an episode, but it is considerably more now. So I have been doing, behind the scenes, I've been doing a bunch of jobs. So we have £73,000. Um, and obviously my plan was that I would be able to buy a house and not have to worry about anything money-wise. So I've uh, also done a bunch of... Uh, upgrades to the perks and stuff for a general renovation a large plot hmm. well, a large plot is pretty relevant to me but we bought it we bought a new house do you want to go there right now if you would prefer to stay in the office you can always go to the new house using the gate let's go let's go what are we waiting for let's go why would we wait why would we wait hurrah and so here we are Right, so this is new stuff that I haven't seen before. Buyers. On the left, you can see thumbnails of buyers. From time to time, from time to time, they will comment on your actions. Pay attention, especially to those on the top. 
the higher they are, the more they are willing to pay for this house. So let's go in. I can already see on the HUD up there, there is a lot of mess. So we've got this little room here. We've got another little room here, which has been used as a bedroom. And we have a f kitchen through into the bathroom. Interesting. So this living room space is pretty awkward. A little weird L shape. So my initial reaction to this, if I was looking at this in reality, uh, is always I don't like the idea of coming through a kitchen to go to the bathroom. So you're in the you know, you're in bed at night. You've got to come out of the go all the way through the kitchen to go to the bathroom. So I'm wondering what we can do to change that situation. I'm wondering if we change the layout significantly. But first things first, let's get rid of all this crap that's on the floor. So I've taken a bunch of the walls down. Um, I am going to move. I'm just going to move this puppy into here. So I feel like if I borrowed, quite tempted. To, I want to make. I potentially want to make this the kitchen. It could also be a much smaller bathroom. Hmm. Tricky, 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 tricky. Okay, so I have worked out what I'm doing with this layout, I think. So um, as you come through the door, the living space and the kitchen is going to be here. This is all going to be open plan. Uh, we have now got a wall running along here. This door opens into a very, very small bathroom with a shower. Uh, this all does fit in here. So sink there, toilet there, shower there. Uh, and then, so that door opens across the front door. Uh, and then into this room, we have the master bedroom, or the, the bedroom, <laughs> the master bedroom. Um, and this I put the sauna door in. Um, I think it sort of looks like a patio door. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can put anything out here, like furniture and stuff. But um, So the bed is going to go over there. It's just going to be a single bed. And then this is, I think, I think I'm going to keep this space. It's going to be like a desk area or maybe for a wardrobe or something. Um, I may, I have this little space here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. It might just be like a table there or something. Annoyingly, I have... Oh, no, I can get rid of it now. Sweet. Okay, I didn't think I'd get rid of that before. Um, yeah, so I might put a little table or something there. Um, not sure, and a mirror or something above it. And then we have... So we're going to have the living room is going to be kind of like an L shape, I think. It's another thing there, an L shape, and then the kitchen is going to be in this in this corner, or sort of, hopefully around three sides of this 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 shape here. Um, so obviously that's a little bit tight, but it does kind of work. If I just do, let's get the shower on. I did already check this out just to make sure it, because I wanted to make sure the bathroom was kind of as tight as I could get it um, and there's no kind of lost space here stick all this stuff in do the assembly the shower seems to be one of the most involved so I think once I decorate this it's gonna look really tight when I put everything in here but I think once I decorate it will actually look fine so sink can go there. Okay, so as I said, it's a small but usable space. Does the job. Can get to everything, no clashing into anything. Um, but as I said, obviously tight. Tight, tight, tight. So we won't be able to put anything down this wall, for example. Um, so let's have a look at 
tiles for the floor, I think, first. Wall tiles, floor tiles, there we go. So this being a small space, we definitely want to go light. Um, so let's go with... Let's just go with these ones and see what these look like. I want to go, it needs to be fairly simple this room, I think. Um, it's alright. It's a shame you can't go with like a wet room shower, that would be kind of cool. Just have it as a, so without needing the cubicle, basically. Um, so then what can we go with? Yellow? Not yellow. Oh, that's those ones above. I don't like the yellow either. So what can we go with that matches to those? Oh, here we go. White swirls by Mini. So same deal with the tiles, actually. You, um, as, as I mentioned before with the paint, you're actually better off buying more than you need as long as you don't use a whole set. Um, because it is cheaper to refurbish, uh, to, sorry, refurbish, re uh, to sell a set, even if it's kind of only um, one tile left, it's still better to do that and buy a new one, because you'll get something like 75% of the money back. Okay, so that's it all lined out, tiles. I want to keep it super simple. Um, because there's actually quite a lot of pattern in these tiles and it's obviously a very small space. Um, so I'm not going to do anything other than this carpet on the floor um, and then decorate some of the surfaces. Uh, so I think we'll put a mirror. We will definitely put a mirror in here. Right. Yeah, it's a shame you can't put the mirror down lower. I feel like every every bathroom I'm going to do is going to have this mirror there. Um, lighting, where was that? Uh, where was that light? You know what I'm thinking of? The um, let's see, it's this one. Small fluorescent. It's basically exactly the same as what I did before. Uh, where is the where's the actual section on light? Ceiling lamps, that's it. So I think we just want halogens in here. We'll buy a couple of these. Does it have to be gold? No, we want those ones. So we'll go one over the toilet. Okay, one over here, I think. And then we obviously need a switch for that, which I think is an installations modern by single. Uh, yeah, that's basically the only place it can go. Obviously, you wouldn't actually really have a switch like that in a toilet, you'd have a pull cord or something, probably. Then what else can we do? Um, obviously we can have some plants and stuff in here. Don't think we're going to have an enormous a lot of space for much. Towel up on there, definitely. But if we've got room for shelves and things. Maybe a shelf down there. Uh, where were the shelves? Seems to be the up is the only one that you can put stuff on. We're going to stay white because, in fact, we might go grey. Because the, that, um, the uh, shower has quite a lot of grey in it as well. It's a shame you can't get a single, yeah, you can't get that to clip underneath there. 
could do I could do a really low one. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh about cupboards. I think any of these are gonna be too big, aren't they? I don't think there's anything that's like a little just a little stand. Cabinet's simple, this is gonna to be too big, isn't it? Yeah, way too big for in here. Yeah. So I think it's just gonna be decoration. I think that's probably all we're gonna get in here. Okay, fiddling got done. Uh, so I've left it pretty simple. Um, I did get a picture of a bathroom cabinet. So you can see that's a bathroom cabinet. It's a picture, but it's supposed to look like it's kind of recessed into the into the brickwork. Um, and also, what's cool about this picture is it has the same colours that we are using in the room. Amazing. So that's about all I can do with this room. Uh, as I said, there's not a lot of room in here, room in this room. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for this one. We've laid out the rooms. Um, we've got a lot to do in this rest of this building, but I just kind of like that. Um, and I quite like the brickwork there as well. I might even leave that. So yeah, this is probably prattled on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but um, it was our first, it's our first house, so I'm excited. I'm enjoying it very much. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.